Blindness and eye disease have long been linked with lack of vitamin A. Far less well-known is the role it plays in children's resistance to common childhood illnesses. Without enough vitamin A in their bodies, children can't fight off respiratory infections, diarrhea or measles. Two million die every year as a result. In northern Ghana, before the introduction of routine immunization and vitamin A distribution schemes, children regularly ended up in hospital. At one stage, I was keeping the children's ward, and routinely, daily, we signed death certificates for children dying from measles, from, from malaria, from diarrhea, regularly. And I felt that, well, and, and, and half of the ward was full of nothing but measles cases. And we took up the challenge into going to public health. And within five years of concerted effort, we were able to reduce the incidence of measles annually from about 25 to 30,000 in the northern region alone to less than 5,000 a year. Um, in public health, our concern is preventing these diseases. And vitamin A provides us with that opportunity in strengthening their resistance to disease. Since 1996, the Canadian government has provided a billion vitamin A capsules through a UNICEF program. National Polio Immunization and Child Health Days provide a vital thread in the vitamin A distribution network, which now reaches 9 out of 10 children in the country. In the northern region, volunteers distribute capsules to under fives and mothers of newborn babies. You know, farming depends on the rain, so once the rain starts, I start work on the farm. But when it ends, I can do this volunteer work. Idi's role is vital. While the donation of capsules is key to the vitamin A distribution program, its continuing success relies heavily on the goodwill of Idi and volunteers like him. Ezi Amorful believes this will continue. These village volunteers were already given health services. They were involved in the Guinea worm eradication program. And of course the health uh, workers are part of the health delivery system. And therefore they are already going into the communities and are in touch with these children. Teachers are also part of the Ghana education service. So these are existing structures coupled with an intensive information communication and education program to ensure that our target population are also constantly reminded of the importance to go for capsules, but not only that, but also eat vitamin A rich foods. Vitamin A is found in a variety of sources. Dairy foods, fish and liver, dark green leafy vegetables, fruits like mango and papaya, and red palm oil. But the price of some of these foods, as well as their availability, make changing traditional diets a slow process. The challenge after this supplementation, the other challenge is to find out whether it can become a regular part of their diet. And that comes with change in uh, the cultural uh, habits of what they eat and how they prepare their food. You remember the last time we came? And when we prepared porridge, we added palm oil and we made it in the chief's house. This is palm oil and we bought some fish and meat as well. We bought some vegetables so you could use that as well. You can choose either. We tried to teach them to use foods in their cooking. And one of these it was preparing porridge and then adding red palm oil. And this is a new thing to most of the mothers because under normal circumstances, 